feel me? So, uh, Big Hit, let me ask you this. Tangent Swanson, who was that to you? Tangent Swanson was like one of my OGs. Mm -hmm. You know, Tangent Swanson, Tangent Swanson was a, a was the rawest, realest, most gangsterous stud or whatever they call them, you know, bull daggers or whatever. Mm -hmm. In my days, we call them bull daggers, dice, stud, whatever, whatever. But um, Tangy was the rawest one I ever met, I ever will meet. I won't even try, they won't none of them ever come close. Because um, it was more like, it started with Miss Sandra Swanson. That's Tangy's mom. Okay. Tangy name is Tangy Swanson, I want to say. Or unless she got, you know, sometimes you have stuff hooked to that Tangy. But um, it's always been Tangy Swanson. Her brother named Derek Swanson and her sister named Monica Swanson. And her mother name is Sandra Swanson, Miss Sandra Swanson. And it all started from Miss Sandra. Now, Miss Sandra Swanson was like one of the original queen pins of Baton Rouge. And um, so she, I guess somewhere down the line, she knew what the struggle was. Mm -hmm. But when I met her or when she met me, she had a, a, a one of those cutlasses. It was white with the blue T-tops with the, you know, top with the loud music. Too Short was out. She was riding around pumping Too Short music. And you know, like she was getting all the respect and all the glory. She was so beautiful, so pretty, almost like the the, the beautifulest lady in the world at this time to me. And she chose me to be like her little boyfriend, you mm -hmm. know? Because, you know, really it was because of the struggle. You know what yeah. I'm saying? But you know, she 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 wanted to validate me. She another one of the per people like Fred Hayes who validated me in Southside Baton Rouge. She's one of them, Tangie's mother. Now, in the pro I ain't gonna, I'm going to make this story short because hopefully one day I'm going to have Tangie's mother on Check Em Out TV. You okay. feel me? Miss Sandra Swanson. Um, Miss Spain. She know I call her Miss Spain. But um, anyway, that um, by her taking a liking to me and looking out for me and letting me ride shotgun and taking me to see movies and stuff like that. If you, you know, some of my other partners too. But she used to let me be in the front seat. You know, she used to be my little boyfriend, my little boyfriend, you know. And, you know, that kind of helped because her son, D, Derek, he started giving me shoes, you know, hand-me-downs, you know what I'm saying? So, from her. So, now my feet game okay because he giving me travel files, champions, you know, shoes like that, what was out then. So, mm -hmm. you know, I'm okay. Ballets, you know, yeah, it's up. So, um, Tangy didn't like that. I was getting too much love. Tangy didn't like that. Tangy was like this little black, ugly, a big kid. He getting too much love. He got to prove himself. So Tangy was somebody that made me prove myself. When I say I had to bust 10 niggas up a day for Tangy, mm -hmm. you know, and I didn't mind because like I said, her mom, she would come home and I would be at her house. And she would be, mom, why is he here? But the mom like, where else he gonna go? You know, like, I know his situation. He from Big D. He ain't from 17th Street Apartments. He from Big D. I don't know where his mom is because he ain't say he from Detroit, but he ain't got nothing going on. So, you know, like from there, and then we just got closer and closer and closer. But Tangy was one of the original South 17th Street members. Fred Hayes, Lee Lucas, Tangy, Heine, Preston, um, Fred Hamilton, I want to say um, Irel, you know, like these were some of the 17th Street original members. Yeah. And I wasn't there yet, but I came right into that. And uh, my struggle just had me all over the place. And Tangy Mom pulled me in and, uh, you know, started looking out for me. And then D started looking out for me. And um, Tangy eventually started looking out for me after I had to prove myself lawyer to be a 17th street gang member mm -hmm. and then um hit that went monica 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 was the 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 teddy bear of the family because d was a gangster tangy was a gangster and nanny nanny was a nickname she was like the soft one of the family and um she used to look out for me too 
And um, she was kind of, she was the youngest one. So she was the closest one to my age, but she was still four or five years older than me. And um, Big Mike used to pay me to watch her while Lee Lucas paid me to watch somebody. So I'd be at the park on Spain Street Park all day, really, you know, watching out for them. You know what I'm saying? And, and But it ain't like I would actually say what they was doing because the only thing they, I'm watching for is if they mess with another nigga yeah. or leave with a nigga. You feel what I'm saying? And, you know, niggas breaking me off for that. So all I had to do was be there and they understood because whatever they did, it ain't like I would say it. It's just I was playing my position. But um, Tangi and um, I remember Tangi would put a dress on and for a brother funeral. And that made people cry more so because, you know, out of the respect and love and loyalty that she had for her brother and her mom, she put a dress on. And that was a big debate, which she put a dress on. Mm-hmm. That probably was a bigger debate than her brother laying in the casket and that's sad. And like, that was, a, that was like one of the first times that I felt um, my heart, felt it in my heart from somebody that I met off the block or in the hood or in the struggle. And, and when they got killed, that was the first person who really affected me was Derek Swanson, Tangy brother. Like we cried, we, we, we did whatever. When, when, when she said whatever she said do, she had, she, she had it because she, she lost her brother. Mm-hmm. And he was somebody, like I say, he was one of my heroes because wasn't nobody giving you nothing back then. He, he started the giving with me, Derek Swanson. So shout out to Tangie and her whole family. You heard me? Shout out to Tugger. Shout out to Bum Bum. And free Bum Bum because some niggas was trying to put C's in Bum Bum head in jail. And Bum Bum was like, nah, you can't tell me nothing about Big Head. I'm sorry. Who? That, that's her son? Yeah, that's her son. Yeah. Bum Bum. I don't really know his real name because he was born from mm-hmm. birth. And Tugger was Tugger from birth. But them Tangie's children... Took her in Bon Bon and um, her, her brother, D, his daughter's name was Darnisha. I don't think Nene had any children, but as you can see, I know their whole family. And um, a lot of people don't know that Marjo and Tangie and, and Bill and D is all brothers and sisters. Rest in peace, Bill Swanson. And uh, Marjo, he got Marty's fine cars. He's doing real good. He got 10 more other businesses. And you know, we all come from the same little struggle, you know what I'm saying? But um, fortunately, you know, some of us, we lost some, some of us hung on, you know what I'm saying? But um, Tangy was the realest, the realest bull dagger ever. Mm-hmm. It's no comparisons. I don't care what you do, how you do it. You know, if you ain't gonna stand on it like she stood on it 24 seven, nah. And, and it's crazy because Later on in the years, you know, we went on and, and flipped something together to really make it official. <laughs> and I was like, you know, what, 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 what? Because like, she was like pressing it. Like, and I'm like, like, leave out the room at some point, damn. So, you know, cause you know, I got, I, I, I had Lil one like, you know, like open, you know what I'm saying? You know, like and when I say Lil one, I don't mean Lil one as age, I mean as in size, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, because she was nice something, you know? And um, I ain't gonna call her name because she don't deserve to be exposed being dirty work by me and Tangie. But anyway, like that solidified Tangie's legacy right there. And that was almost at the end before she got killed when um, we did that because I was thinking like, you know, she was, wasn't was gonna do nothing, but like she lay around there and I guess either she had a scrap or she found it or made it, you know, because we was at her house in her mm-hmm. room and you know, she, she the one gassed me up to do it. So, you know, to get old girl to, you know, twerk in front of her. So I was like, yeah, that ain't nothing. So, um. And then she just got in and then, then, you know, next thing I know, I was easing out the room and she was smashing it with the scrap on. And I guess they went on from there. I was gone after that, man. You know, I only seen her like two times after that, but that was sad, bro. Like, all, you know, all, it, it seemed like all gangsters have to die by the trigger, but when you live so long and you do so much and, you know, people see other things come out your heart, you go to feeling different, you know? Like, yeah. I feel like she didn't deserve that. Like, like 
Tangie went to jail one time for something that she didn't even do or she didn't do to the extent to what they say it happened, but it was just an unfortunate situation to where they had to blame it on someone and they blamed it on her. And I was saying to myself, like, okay, I have seen her do a lot of gangster stuff and a lot of things, but um, I never, you know, I know that this is not her and I some managed somehow to get in her heart. Because it's hard for a gangster to show you love if they're a gangster, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? But I managed some some kind of way to get in her heart. And um, I, I appreciate that. Trying to get and, your mom, her and, mama uh, so love. And when she came home, I gave her a car. Mm -hmm. I ain't had like I ain't had no money. Like I say, I, I was just, you know, had a little image, you know, but I didn't have no money, so I gave her all I had, and that was a car. Mm -hmm. I gave it to her and I walked until I bought another one. But that's how much I honored her and how I felt about her before she even went to jail. Yeah. You know, it's like like if I if I got love for you, when I see you, the last time I saw you, if I got love for you, the next time I see you, I'ma still have that much love for you or more. So, you know, it only had built up, you know. And it's for it's unfortunate that a lot of people from South Baton Rouge that I know that I got close to that looked out for me or helped me or, you know, I helped them or whatever this case is gone, you know. But um, I'm going to live on, bro, and, you know, hopefully my legacy live on and, you know, I can turn it all the way around and help some people and, mm -hmm. you know, start to build in um, Blamerica, then go, you know. I know I won't make it to Blamerica, but I would love to because um, you're going to have to go there with gold. Yeah. There ain't going to be no paper. You gonna have to you're gonna have to turn your goal in to get money in Blamerica. So y'all start saving your gold, man. Don't worry about the diamond. Because once you put a diamond in the chain, once you set it, it ain't worth nothing unless it's still nah. in there. But it ain't worth nothing once it come out. So don't invest in your di in the diamonds because once you set a diamond, it's worthless. Invest in the gold. So when it's time to go to Blamerica, you'll be able to go to the bank and um cash in.